Happy Thursday night. I don't think that's really a thing. Hey guys, we're literally lit by the candlelight right now. So tomorrow I am going upstate for a film shoot and I get a lot of questions about film school, obviously. I have a different internship this semester and I've been getting a lot of questions about like looking for internships and what my internship entails, how I got this internship, all of that stuff, which I really wanted to do a video on because I feel like that's something that I still even struggle with now. And so any advice or like any information information I can give you guys. So hopefully that will help. But I'm going upstate this weekend to shoot a short film for my internship. I leave tomorrow right after class and I get back Monday. I don't have classes Monday, so it's great. Basically, I am interning for a production company. The woman that I work under, she is a producer. She's fabulous. So most of my stuff that I'm doing, I'm learning through her as a producer and what she's doing. So this is one of their short films that they're producing and it's a horror short film, which I'm really excited about. I've never been on set for like a horror short film before and it's also woman directed and this production company that I'm interning for their focus is on female directed and led projects or queer so most of the crew for this shoot are either like women or people in the queer community which I'm super excited for and so grateful that I get to be a part of that not entirely sure what's gonna happen because this is the first set that I'm going on with this internship but I'm very excited it's around like three nights Nights, four days and we're gonna pack for that so maybe I should turn this other light on I'm actually gonna blow these candles out because they're making me nervous I just got this suitcase from Muji the other day and it has been doing me good so far okay so I like barely started a really really rough packing list so here it is basically i'm gonna have my outfit for tomorrow that i'm also wearing to class and then i have to have an outfit saturday outfit sunday and then monday is more just like a traveling day not too bad at all so i'm just gonna start pulling stuff out and a lot of times for film sets people say to be safe to just wear like all black but I don't really want to. I don't know, I feel like it's not gonna be a big deal if I'm wearing like mostly neutral colors. I have a lot of black clothes, but they just like don't really like mesh together. So I'm gonna try my best, but we might just go a little bit more neutral. I have these, which are just like my plain denim wide leg jeans. I honestly might wear these to class tomorrow. These are the only pair of black jeans that I have. These are from Uniqlo too. My poser jeans. These are so comfy. They're also denim. So I'm thinking I'm gonna go with these three. I'll just like rewear one or two, which is totally cool. For sweaters, I just want to do like comfy, but also just nice and not cropped. I think I'm gonna do this Lacoste sweater. It's just blue. Everyone always asks where it's from. It's Lacoste. It's my dad's old one and I think he gave it to me either because it stopped fitting him or because there's low-key like holes in this and I think he just like didn't want it. So kind of shady, but girl, I didn't like, it was like free hand-me-downs. Like tell me you weren't gonna take that. I always wear this sweater, but I'm going to do this black sweater. It's so comfy. It really just sits really nicely. This is also unique low. Okay, and then I think I'm gonna do this, which is a Polo Ralph Lauren sweater. Girl, this was also a hand-me-down from my dad, except this one doesn't have holes, so win. But this one too, I think it just sits really nicely. It's a little bit big, but it's really comfy, and I like usually feel good in it, you know? Okay, I think that was all the sweaters, because I'm gonna pick out something else for class tomorrow, which I'll figure out later. And then I'm gonna bring my big black coat. Okay, and then I need some pajamas. And and it's gonna be upstate and it's gonna be really cold this weekend so it's just basically it's just gonna be freezing these are like long black pajama pants these are from cozy earth this was a little gift they sent me black sweatshirt with that too this one this was my grandpa's old one it's a tnc one this one i love this sweatshirt so much honestly i could wear this one of the days too Okay, this was such a weird situation how I got this internship because girl the amount of traditional online applications I have filled out for internships and never even heard a response from telling me that I got rejected is insane So many if you ever feel bad about getting rejected Just know that I have probably been rejected ten more times than you or maybe we're at the same place And one day it'll happen for both of us this one I had been applying to so many places NYU has a 
couple different portals and platforms where companies will post internships. This website called Handshake, and then there's one called College Central. And then I have like notifications on for LinkedIn. You just kind of like look out for your favorite companies that you would want to work for. Sometimes, rarely, and it has never gone well for me except for this one time, which is why it's like such a weird scenario how this worked out. But sometimes I'll reach out to some companies and actually email them and hey, like I was wondering if you were offering any internships or I don't know, or something like setting up a chat to learn more about the like a position or basically just like literally emailing and sometimes they'll be like no or sometimes you just won't get a response. I'm interning for Form and Pressure Films, which is a smaller production company up in the Bronx. They had a short film that was put out on HBO during like 2020 COVID era and it's called Marisol. I emailed them and was asking if they had any internships and then I'm gonna put you here. The lead producer, her name is Lauren, so that's like who I communicate with for all of my intern stuff. She actually first of all responded and we set up a chat and I just talked to her about my interest in film and then she talked to me about what an internship might entail. Then she sent me, like after talking to me, sent me a list of tasks that I could do for the semester as an intern. I was really lucky. And then this just worked out so wonderfully. Films and filmmakers that I feel like I resonate so strongly with is amazing. So now we're here and now we're packing to go upstate to film tomorrow. Suitcase is open. The other tasks that I do like during the internship, it's all been virtual. So this is the first time I'm gonna meet her in person, which I'm very excited for. But basically we have weekly Zoom meetings the same day every week where we kind of check in and we talk about what's happening and what she needs from me. And then she uses this website called Asana, which I never, I was never familiar with before. And so a lot of my work has kind of been admin stuff and like updating Excel sheets and reaching out to people. I send a lot of emails. Kind of been like trying to reach out for donations for the short film, but I think someone else like did a better job of that. Yeah, that's pretty much my weekly stuff. Today I literally came back from Bobes and on the way back picked up a prop for the short film that she asked me to pick up so I went to outside this guy's apartment in Chelsea and he gave it to me so I need to remember to pack that actually okay I'm gonna keep packing and stop talking and then we can figure out what else we need okay I did change um, so test is negative. I had to do a negative COVID test and send that in before leaving tomorrow. So slay. Everything else I have to pack is like toiletries and I need to wash my hair tonight. Can't do that yet, but there she is, our little lovely tiny suitcase. Oh my God, also this shoot, because it's a horror one, we're shooting for like two of the nights, four to four. So 4 p.m. to 4 a.m. Girl, I'm gonna be so dead when I come back on Monday. Cause basically we wake up 4 a.m. Monday and then you go home from there literally pray for me but yeah so i'm gonna like take a shower i finished the youtube video for this sunday i need my sleep tonight besties so that's pretty much it hopefully that was a little helpful for you i will try and get some footage like barely if i can or photos from the shoot that i'll put in in a second but thank you so much for watching spring break is next weekend i feel like i talk about that in every video now but like if somebody's counting down it's me so bye